Point six News uh, was the first to tell you the stimulus checks aren't tax free in Oregon. In fact, roughly 870,000 Oregonians will see an increase in their state tax liability because of them. We go now to our Lindsay Nadrich joining us live. And Lindsay, explain how lawmakers are talking about a fix for this. Well, when I did this story initially, lawmakers I reached out to seem to be unaware of the fact that the stimulus payments were causing many taxpayers to owe more money to the state when they filed their taxes. But now some are stepping up saying this shouldn't be the case and a bill to change this was just introduced in the Oregon State Legislature. Now, the state is expected to see more than $100 million in tax revenue from just the first round of stimulus checks. After hearing about this, U.S. Congressman Peter DeFazio wrote a letter to Governor Brown and the Oregon Legislature urging them to ensure the stimulus payments remain tax-free like Congress intended. He wrote, quote, It is unconscionable to ask those working families who have struggled the most during this crisis to to bear the weight of the state's budget shortfall. Oregon State Senator Dick Anderson agrees and just introduced a bill yesterday that would refund taxpayers. Part of their stimulus checks from the federal uh, government were being uh, siphoned off by the state. And I don't think that was the intent. And as we, we have evidence that that was not the intent. So there need to be a fix. If passed, Senate Bill 842 would require the Department of Revenue to send checks to people for the amount of taxes they owed as a result of their stimulus checks. This is similar to how the Oregon Kicker Tax Refund is handled. Now, I did reach out to Governor Brown's office for comment. They pointed out other provisions in the CARES Act actually reduce the state's revenue. But again, Congressman DeFazio says that shouldn't fall to taxpayers to make up. Reporting live on Lindsay Nadrich, Point Six News. All right, very interesting, and thank you for looking into that, Lindsay.